Hello everyone, today in this video, I will show you how to create an application user. In Power Platform Environment Step by Step. So let's get started. First, log into your Power Platform Admin Center using your admin account. Then come to this Environments menu. You can see your list of environments where you have access to. Open the environment where you want to add the application users. Click on the selected environment. It is opening. It's loading the environment data. Let's wait for a second. Now I can either click on this link or I can go to other ways to create application users. So let's open this in a new tab. Using the S2S apps link. From here I can add an application user or I can add from the environment settings page. From the Users and Permissions Information section, click on this application. Users link. Both the links are same. We can add an application user from any of these two screens. So, let's click on this. I can use any of these two links. Click on on this new app user link. Here one thing I must say is that it is not like a normal human user. So in order to add an application user, that app has to be registered in the Azure portal app registration first. I mean in this app registration page in Azure. So whatever the app registrations I have done here, those I can add as an application user in a Power Platform environment. Here in my article, I have explained this process in very detail. Please go through this article for a more detailed understanding. I'll mention the article link in the comment section. I'm not getting into that now. As I said, I need to click on the add an app link, then I can see all the apps registered in Azure portal, and then I can select the app that I want to add. These apps are nothing but coming from the app registration in the Azure portal. I will just select any of them. Let's select something like Copilot. Just I have selected this Copilot. Microsoft Copilot Studio. Then I'll just click on this Add button. Then the next thing is Select your business unit. These are business units I have. Top three business units are customs. I have created them manually. And last one is out of the box parent business unit. So I can select any of them. I'm not going with the custom business unit. I will select the out of the box parent business unit here. Select that. Then I will select the security roles. What I can do is I can select any of the roles here. For this demo, I will select Sync Permissions, System Administrator, System Customizer. Click on the Save button, and then you will see the Role Assignment Confirmation message.
Only the following roles will be assigned to user. Read message details from the screen. Do you want to save your changes? Yes, I click on the Save button. Then click on the Create button. Now my app user is being added. To my environment. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. It is being added. Yes, still it is being added. Let's wait for a few more couple of seconds. Yes, my app user got added to my environment, and I can see it from this screen. I can now manage my selected app user from here. Like I can delete it, see the app user details, Edit security roles and deactivate it. So this is the app username and this is Microsoft Enter ID app name. App ID. What is the status like active or non-active? This is an active state. This is the auto-generated email address. Even I can change that. And this is the teams connected to my app user. So this is about the app user. Even I can edit the security roles so quickly, I can select any of the roles I need. And I can save it. I can delete it by clicking on this delete button. So this is the way to create or add an app user in a Power Platform environment. Now I'll go to see how to add a normal human user to my environment. So go to your users and permissions section from the environment settings. Click on the users. Then here you can see these are the list of the users already I have added to my environment. If I want to add new user to my environment, I can just click on this add user link. Read the eligible user criteria message. Only users that meet the below access requirements can be added to this environment. Add one user at a time. So these are the criteria to add a user to an environment enrolled in Microsoft Azure. User access requirements are as enabled in Microsoft Intra ID has an active license and member of the environment security group. Now, I'll add a sample user to my environment. I selected a sample user and click on the add button. My new user is being added to my environment. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. Once the user added to the environment, I need to select the security roles for the new user. So I can add a few sample roles for my user to show you how to add. Adding security roles like sync permissions, system administrator, and system customizer. Read the role assignment confirmation message, then save it. My new selected user is being added to my environment. Let's refresh this page. Yes, my user has been added to my list. From here, I can manage my selected user, like I can run and see diagnostics reports, manage security roles, refresh users, change business units, and change channels.
These are the things I can do for a user from this user's management screen. So that's all for today. In this video, we have learned about how to create an app user in Power Platform environment. How to add a normal user to a Power Platform environment along with the security roles. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.